the org map function in meeting mapper is very easy. I just click on org map. It'll bring up my org map as depicted in the relate in the reports to field in Salesforce. And I can see the stance and the role of people that I've met with or that I understand their stance or their opinion. I can go ahead and move in real time. For example, I found out that Lee now reports to Betty. So I can go ahead and move Lee over underneath Betty. Now he reports to her. I'm in collapse mode, so if I wanted to, I can go ahead and start collapsing the org map. I can switch to line mode, and this allows me to build lines of relationship between individuals. All I have to do is, for example, click on Lee and click on Sam and now that builds that line and I can go in here and add some information about this particular relationship. And then save it. I can't collapse in this mode but I can go to collapse mode and then I can do that. I also can right mouse click on the icon and change the stance, the role, the executive sponsor, the notes, reports to remove from the org map or realign. For example, uh, if I said, oh, Aaron is not the CEO, I could click on and realign him to move him down anywhere else. It doesn't remove him from Salesforce, it just realigns him in the org map. I can add contacts from the account, and I can add contacts from other accounts. For example, a partner. I'll just click on Add and then bring them in. I can also add leads to an org map. I can't link a lead to a contact, but I can build an org map out of leads if necessary. So using an org map is very easy in Meeting Mapper and uh, Strategy Mapper as a whole.